Will he or won't he? That is the question many are asking about high-profile attorney John Morgan's possible run for governor. Tonight, News Channel 8's Paul Mueller reports the lawyer is seriously considering a candidacy in 2018. The 61-year-old personal injury lawyer is known for the law firm that bears his name, also well-known for his support of decriminalizing marijuana. At a recent Tiger Bay Club event, he came to talk about the state legislature's difficulties with the voter-approved medical marijuana amendment. I believe that marijuana should be decriminalized everywhere in every county and throughout the state of Florida. But many in the crowd were there to hear about his possible gubernatorial run in 2018. In a Democratic field where only two men have thrown their hat in the ring, Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum and newcomer Chris King. The real plan for me, should I do it, it's real simple. One, I would only do it for one year, for one term. Though similar to Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn, who back in March announced he wouldn't seek the Democratic nomination because he didn't want to miss out on his family, Morgan also cited his personal life as something he would take strongly into consideration. I have a wonderful life. The best part of my life is my children, who I enjoy being with more than anything else. And so I don't think I'd want to tie up eight years of my life. He says he's talked to the political bigwigs. They've advised him to weigh the pros and the cons to see if he could find a balance to determine if he could make a difference in the lives of countless Floridians. They say you can do a whole lot of good, but it will come at a great personal sacrifice, financially and emotionally. So what about the Republican field? Well, the two biggest names rumored right now, Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam and Florida House Speaker Richard Corcoran. But is that all? Political experts say there is no way the Republican race for governor will be a two-person race. I'm Paul Mueller, News Channel 8.